What's up, people? It's your one and only Green Wing Man coming to you today on a very damp Monday morning as I talk about the Eagles beating the Arizona Cardinals 34 to 7. Honestly, I'm just looking at my stats actually right now. So I actually didn't have an opportunity to really watch the game. I actually kind of sat down and watched more of the highlights uh, yesterday because it was working. So I never really had a chance to actually sit down and view the game. Um, but for the things I was able to catch, dude, man, other than that, I was following the game from my, um, from my phone, man. And I was just completely uh, blown away um, by what, what the Eagles have done. Um, honestly, throughout the entire... Uh, day yesterday at work, I was just kind of giddy and and jumpy and and very excited that um, our, our team did what they did. Uh, um, let's uh, again, so let's sit down and talk about the po positives. Um, Carson Wentz, um, honestly, uh, four touchdowns. Uh, basically, that the guy sat down and really passed the ball uh, to everybody on the squad. I mean, basically, who did not get a hand? Out? It's like almost you got a catch. He, he basically, uh, Carson Wentz was basically like Oprah out there, pretty much giving out catches to everybody uh, you got a catch earth, earth got a catch uh, Nelson Aguilar got a catch for a touchdown uh, Torrey Smith got a you know what bound what what 73 yards uh, for a touchdown uh, everybody was getting the ball from Carson Wentz Carson Wentz played a phenomenal game man incredibly phenomenal uh, such a great work from him such great poise in the pocket um, ran when he needed to uh, made the check down plays sat down and changed up plays went back to him again switched it around the other side uh, I, I there's just nothing I can really say about that, man. Carson Wentz continues to grow to be in a fantastic cornerback, cornerback, quarterback, and I can't believe it. And the fact that the guy's only in the second year and is able to, to be doing this stuff um, and so early in his career it shows incredible maturity in this guy. Uh, this dude is a franchise cornerback, one, no doubt. Um, and then this dude has such incredible poise to be, you know, a top 10 quarterback. Maybe when it's all said and done, he might be a top 10 quarterback by the end of this season. Just the way how all the other quarterbacks have played within these last uh, five weeks of the game. Uh, Carson Wentz has simply stand out among the crop of really good quarterbacks in this NFL as of date. Um, other things too, I want to sit down and talk about the defense. Once again, defense continues to be consistent all around the board, man. The defense has done a really good job. And the fact that they're doing this without Fletcher Cox, the, the reason they're not even doing this without Ronald Darby, two of the best defensive players on the squad, uh, really just shows the, uh, the temperament of Jim Schwartz and the character and their staff to be able to get the guys, you know, the next man up mentality to get ready and to get prepared to be able to handle what's next and coming um, towards them. Honestly, I thought this game was going to be a whole lot more close. Uh, I was a little bit nervous going into the game, especially, you know, after coming from a road win against the Chargers last week. I really thought this was going to not be a trap game, but I honestly thought this was going to be a very difficult game because I thought, you know, what Carson, what Carson Palmer and what Bruce Arians what likes to do, they really like to sit down and take the ball all the way down. I thought uh, Larry Fitzgerald was going to get a lot of fault. Honestly, um, from, you know, watching... Uh, uh, recording and watching the game and watching the highlights. Uh, basically, Letters for General was basically nowhere to be found. I was really, um, incredibly, uh, really, really surprised. I think it's uh, really incredible what that defense has done um, over these last five weeks. Um, just great, great control and great temperament uh, from everybody, man. But um, and, and and you know what's so um, very exciting for me as an Eagles fan? Uh, the fact uh, that. The fact that we're, we're 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 doing this all without our best two players. So imagine once we sit back and we get Ronald Darby back. Once we get Fletcher Cox back, along with this great four front line. I think it's very great. I think it's incredible, and I think it's it's going to do a magical and it's going to do wonders. Um, but other than that, it was really good. Um, I think they they sat down and did a very good job with the play. Um, I think everything really really went well with that. And I know, I mean, there's nothing much I can really sit down and say um, about this win um, from the um, Arizona Cardinals. So, um, yeah, uh, the Eagles are coming from a very uh, short week. Um, they're going to sit down and play the um, go up against Mr. Um, 
Cam Newton and the Panthers as they travel to Thursday. So it's going to be very weak. So I think I'm going to label this as week part one um, because it's still part, you know, sort of part of the uh, of the fifth week um, of the game. But again, I just want to be able to sit down and get my thoughts in because I never, again, didn't really have a chance to watch the game yesterday. So I had to watch a lot of. Uh, a lot of um, highlights from the NFL.com and stuff like that, just to kind of be able to kind of get my make my, my quick thoughts about it. But dude, it looked very good. Uh, Nelson Aguilar looked fantastic. Um, um, did a little bit of showboat in there. I love how he was able to cross off the other defender, and then uh, did a little bit of the Deshaun Jackson tribute. Uh, I thought it was really incredible. Uh, uh, you know, Tory Smith. I'm very excited. I'm very happy for Tory Smith uh, when he able to make that seventy. Uh, what seventy? Be able to make that long ball catch, and you know, for a guy who was sitting there struggling, and for a lot of us that sat down and had Tory Smith out, you know, to really be able to get out of his funk and to be able to do um, what he did, uh, it just it was just a great game of balance all the way around. Everybody was contributing on all sides. I mean, you really just didn't know who you could give the game ball to. Um, Everybody just well played, and I think that just really goes to the temperament and the poise in Doug Peterson. Um, I, over, I know these last what now 20 games, we've really sat down and bashed uh, Doug Peterson a lot uh, um, uh, through just not, um, you know, in terms of, you know, awkward and questionable callings, but. If, if Doug Peterson is going to sit down and get this team ready and they're going to be doing the right things, um, hopefully one or two bad calls don't jeopardize the game. Yeah, and it's really hard to say that right now because, again, it is one, two plays that can make the difference between a win and a loss. But by the way, and so far in terms of the competition that we've had right now, a lot of the competition we have had had a lot of big weaknesses. Um, so once again, you know, going back to what I'm saying, we are going to be facing uh, the um, the Carolina Panthers, Panthers because, um, you know, one day Cam Newton, Superman, the, the other day he's a very mediocre average quarterback. We really don't know exactly what Cam Newton is. Um, the guy has not been able to put consecutive 300-yard games um, since maybe he, when he came into the league, maybe his rookie year. So uh, Cam Newton, as well as the Carolina Panthers, is a team um, that has been really inconsistent. And it was one of the teams that I had uh, ranked on one of my 50-50 teams in the season where it could be a win and a loss um, and uh, you know I, and, and I thought we're gonna and and I actually have them checked off as a win I think I think going in to uh, in North Carolina I think they're gonna surprise a lot of people and maybe even come out with a win um, so I actually do have the Eagles actually going in there and I still think coming out of the win because I think right now between both teams uh, the Eagles have shown a lot of better consistency on both sides of the ball and North Carolina and, and the Carolina Panthers you just don't know exactly what you're going to get week in week out with that team, team um, just like I, I previously mentioned but no other than that it has been really good that's my thoughts on uh, 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 week five part one uh, as uh, as of course we part um, part two with the New York, with the Carolina Panthers will be coming on Friday. Um, I'd like to get your thoughts, your comments by um, down below. Remember to also follow my Twitter page and also follow my Facebook page at GreenWingman.com. Uh, and uh, until then, I will see you guys, Eagles Nation. Fly Eagles, not fly Philadelphia. You guys stay fly. Everybody enjoy this Monday. It's gloomy Monday. I will see you Friday. Peace.